call the truth. I'm going to let you know where we stand. So I did a little bit of research to find out where we stood. And I picked companies where I had access to their financial statements so that there was nothing that could be hidden. I pulled the data together, and by the way, I even picked our peers. Not companies that I knew I would rank well against that are not in our industry, or in our business, or in our product offerings. I picked the ones we really compete with. The ones that say, uh, yeah, I don't think they're going to make it. Right? And so I averaged their performance. Want to see how they did? Yeah. yeah. Want to see how we did against that? Yeah. Okay. How do we compare? I picked three critical measures. There are hundreds, and we ranked well on all of them, but let me show you a few. The first one, I picked the sales growth over the last three years. Why'd I do that? You'll remember in 2010, there was a recession. It started in about 2009. It was brutal. It even knocked network marketing companies down. The place where people go when things get tough because they want secondary incomes, right? A lot of companies did really well coming out of that recession. Really well. The industry has done well. It's good for all of us. How did they do? Their sales growth over the last three years increased by 31%. They increased the top line by a third where they were the year before. Uh, it's, it's a great industry to be in, you guys. How did ARX do during that same time? And by the way, remember, <laughs> we're nobody. Right? Oh. Oh. I thought I increased by 562%. That's a boom, baby! Yeah. Okay, so tell me what that means, Jeff. Well, in comparison to the industry, that's 1,700% higher. That's 17 times what the industry did. Thank you. I don't think they're going to make it. <laughs> okay? Let's look at another one. Are they going to make it? Do they have enough money to survive? Okay? What did the industry do over the last couple of years? People started making money again. The recession was kind of tough. Income increased by 26%, about a quarter more than they did. What about us? Remember, we're just an interview company that doesn't know what we're doing, right? Our income over the last two years increased by 244%. What's the difference? That's an eight times what the industry did. You guys, we're outperforming the best of the best, but we're talking about companies who have been doing it for decades. You'd think they know what they were doing, okay? Rx is doing very well. Absolutely doing a great job. Okay, I got one more. And to me, this is the most important one, and frankly, it's the funnest one of all. For me, as a chief financial officer, you'd think that the objective would be to try to minimize my costs, pull as much money back as we possibly can. Interesting industry comparison for us. I pulled from all those companies the amount of compensation that they pay their distributors. I'll tell you what, it was actually a little embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for it. I'm kind of disappointed. Actually, I'm really happy about it. <laughs> and the thing that was interesting is when you look at their literature, they talk about how much they pay in points. Let me ask you a question. By the raise of hands, how many of you buy groceries on Tuesdays with points? <laughs> Wednesdays? How many of you pay for your kids' college with points? Okay, this is where you ask people, show me the money. Show me the money. So I wanted to know what the facts were when it comes down to dollars. Dollars, because that's what you use, right? And so I figured out the industry average that they pay on their sales dollars, so every dollar of revenue you generate, what percentage of that goes back in your pocket? The average is 38, and I'll tell you something. One of them has a very high rate. 
it's in the low 40s. It skewed that, and because it was a big company, it skewed that high. That number on the industry average is way lower. I gave credit to it. I was trying to be nice. <laughs> RX, what is it? You've heard us say it. I'm just gonna run little circles around them. 50%! From the day we started, we have paid you 50% of sales. And if it doesn't quite make it, we do something to make sure it does. Because we're committed to that. What does that mean? It means, compared to your peers, you get 32% more for doing the same thing they're doing. How do you like that? are used to that four or five percent raise. That's what you get, right? Yeah. How would you like to say to those people to say, I don't think they're gonna make it? Say, well, I don't know. I kind of liked getting the 30% raise this year when I started with Rx. Yeah. That's what their raise is. They come from the industry average. They're gonna get a third more than they used to get. Oh, and here's another measure. I didn't even put up on the board. And by the way, how much does it cost to run their company? But they spend about 28 to 30 percent of their revenue to run their company. Guess where they get that from? <laughs> Commission line. Yeah. Us? It costs us about 22 percent to run our company. Wow. You know where we put it? Back in your pocket. Because you're the engine. You're the thing that built this. You're the things that makes this great. So when they say, man, it's so frustrating. You're not going to make it. You guys, I, I'm generating excess profits. I'm generating excess cash. I'm investing in all of my markets. I'm pushing. Um, uh, we're opening up another office in Taiwan. We've got a factory and, a, and an office being built right now. It's going to cost me over a million dollars. You guys, I sent a million dollars to China last month. Guess how much money we made in April? I made over a million dollars in April, just in April. Because that's a boom, baby! <laughs> <laughs>